Jesus said the poor will always be with us, and though Williamsburg has changed much in 30 years, Transfiguration Parish has remained steadfast in serving them. The Southside Mission was founded in 1971 by Monsignor Brian Carvelis. Javier Bosca began helping him towards the end of his life and now runs the center, which continues to embody Monsignor Carvelis' mission through the immigrants who both give and receive help here. It was a blessing, a privilege, and an honor to be the director of all these programs and helping so many people in need in a neighborhood that is changing very much. Williamsburg is now a cool neighborhood when in the 30 years ago it was one of the worst neighborhoods in New York. Now we have more Hispanic people living out of here. They do not speak Spanish, English at all. So we have to help them with a Medicaid, food stamp, SSI, application for uh, housing. Whatever they need, we help them. Many people come uh, retired or no, ha no are legal in this country and they don't have job and need food for a few days. Yeah. We try to help you uh, when we have. We depend from the food bank. Every night there is a group of volunteers from different churches that they are bringing dinner for the homeless. And actually we are having six different churches in the area that they cook at home they bring the food and they serve. And it's very, very good because it connects the people from the communities, for the parishioners, with the people from the street. And they are seeing the real people that they are helping. It's not like a donation that you give to the church. You are helping directly to the people that they need the food. Food and clothing and applications for all kind of paperwork. Uh, this, the, the part of the, that is staying the same is the homeless part. One man who came to the Southside Mission after losing his job now volunteers at the shelter. This place enhances your purpose. If you have a purpose in life, this place gives a lot, a lot of opportunity to pick up the pieces in his life, start a new life. It's a residence where you find the support of the community, the support of people like us helping you, and you are helping us to grow up. This residence for the homeless is one of a very few operated by a parish, independently from the city of New York's shelter system. A shelter in the Catholic Church has to be not a place for, of course, material needs like food and a bed and being warm, especially in these cold days of the winter. But most importantly, they need affection, they need love, they need attention, they need an, an opportunity. They need to find somebody who cares about their their families, their problems, their life. Later this week, we'll visit the residence in action and learn why its independence is so important to its mission. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.